the Prince of Wales has recreated the look and feel of his home for the centerpiece exhibition of the summer opening of Buckingham Palace. Prince Charles' love for his family is more evident than ever in his new Prince and Patron exhibition at Buckingham Palace. Some rare and previously unseen photos of the royal family will go on display alongside the exhibition, which the Prince of Wales has curated to celebrate his 70th birthday year. Among the highlights is a never-before-seen photo of Charles with his eldest son Prince William and then newborn grandson Prince George. The young prince, who celebrates his fifth birthday on Sunday, can be seen sleeping peacefully in his grandfather's arms while his dad smiles for the camera in a sweet photo of the three heirs to the throne all together. It is not the only portrait of Prince George to go on display. Another framed photo shows the third in line to the throne's christening from 2013. George is held by his mum, the Duchess of Cambridge, who is joined by Prince William, the Queen, Prince Philip, Prince Charles, the Duchess of Cornwall and Prince Harry. The official portrait was taken in St. James Palace, where the family recently returned for the christening of William and Kate's third child Prince Louis. Charles selected more than 100 pieces from private family paintings and photographs major art from the royal collection and work by up-and-coming artist for the attraction, entitled Prince and Patron, which marks his 70th birthday year. The family photos will go on display alongside a number of works of art personally selected by Prince Charles for the summer opening of the state rooms at Buckingham Palace. The Prince's favorite artworks will be shown alongside works created by young artists supported by three charities which he has founded and is patron of, the Royal Drawing School. The Prince's Foundation School of Traditional Arts and Turquoise Mountain, speaking about a pavilion, filled with textiles from Wales, built in the middle of the exhibition space, Charles says in the audio commentary, the striking cedarwood pavilion stands at over four and a half meters high and features intricate carvings which draw on the rich heritage of Afghan design.